I say to myself, I refuse to believe that if I'm a good person and that if I'm working hard, I refuse to believe that this doesn't work out. I know that this moment's gonna pass and I know that I will look back on this moment and I'll see exactly what I was meant to learn. And the fact that you believe in your heart, that you got the mindset, you got the work ethic, you got the ability to figure this out and to keep going. And that eventually if you do, what's meant for you is gonna find you. You will be rewarded for all this in the way that you're meant to be rewarded. That's amazing. It's an amazing feeling because you can pick yourself up no matter what happens. You should be f***ing scared. You should be anxious. You should be worried. You should be concerned. You know what that means? That means you actually give a f about what you're trying to do. Everybody tries to preach this, no anxiety, no stress, low, low drag, happy all the time, shit. Bro, when you really care about something, you really want something to work, you're gonna feel stress about it. You're gonna feel anxiety about it. You know what, it means that you f***ing give a shit. All right, you should feel that way. Isolation. You can be out in the world, you can be a history maker and a productive legend, you don't get to do both. Fear. Fear is the thing that has kept most of us from becoming great. Fear is the thing that creeps in, that reminds you of a past sin, a past problem, or past failure. Fear that somebody might expose you, might say anything, or feel that if I try this, what if it all goes wrong? Maybe it's time you bet on you. Maybe it's time you push everything to the center and say, here's everything I am and everything that I want to be, and I'm willing to bet on me. I don't care where you come from. I don't care where you were raised. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what gender you are. I don't care about any of that shit. If you do the work consistently, if you invest in yourself consistently, one plus one is always gonna equal two. 10 years of motherfucking work when everybody else is partying, making excuses, doing the cool thing on the weekend is gonna pay off. What really you need is hunger. The most successful people on earth never lose their hunger. The hunger to be more, to do more, to share more, to create more, to become more, to give more. And if you have a hunger and it doesn't die off as soon as you succeed a little bit, then you start to become something extraordinary. Those are the people that you know their names of because they're famous at a different level. They've been famous for decade after decade because they keep performing at the higher level, not the person who is a one-time wonder. People have problems and they're often annoyed and oppressed by the fact they have problems, but. You have your problems and the problems that bother you. Mm -hmm. And you might ask yourself, well, why do those problems bother you and not other problems? Mm -hmm. And I would say, maybe it's because in those problems you actually find your destiny. And those are often things you don't want to look at, but it was something that bothered you. It turned out that was your problem. And if you faced it, well, then you figured out on that road that that was your destiny. Winners win and losers lose. I can't explain it any better than that. I don't know how it happens, but winners win. And if you create a culture of losing, if you keep being a victim, if you keep letting losing happen to you, if you keep letting people do you and treat you any kind of way, it's gonna become a culture. Bet on you. Bet on the lifeline that God gave you. Bet on the talents that you have developed. Bet on the stuff that you have sacrificed to become you. Bet on the experiences that have molded your mindset. Bet on the education that you've acquired. Bet on the relationships that are around you. And I promise you, the odds aren't against you, the odds are with you. Because the odd thing is, very few will ever do what you're willing to do. It takes something to become something. It takes trials, it takes hard work, it takes dedication. It takes avoiding all of the pitfalls that fear wants you to accept. With myself, I have to hold the line. There are areas within myself where I cannot compromise. 
I am going to work hard. I am going to train hard. I am going to improve myself. I am not going to rest on my laurels. I'm going to own my mistakes and confront them. I am going to face my demons. Use it as fuel. If you look at stories of great men, of great women in history, that story always has a lot of disadvantages that were overcome. There is something in the process of overcoming hardship that creates greatness. Most people quit through that process. If you can survive it, then your story will be a great one. You never looked at yourself in the mirror and said, you let you die. Until you get to that point, you let you die. You never, you're not brave enough. You want to put it on somebody else. The reason why I'm not successful is because of my boss. That's the problem with some of you. You always want to blame other people. You always want to, you want to hold other people to the fire, but you're not holding yourself to the fire. You just say you're giving 50%. You owe you an explanation. You owe you an explanation. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? It's time to walk in a room and change the atmosphere of the room because you're there. When you arrive, things change. When you walk in, your presence fills the room. The way that you think, the way that you are, the way that you grind, the way you get up and go at the gym, everything that you are is being developed so that you can change the world and let them see that there was a purpose for your life step. I'm not going to give up or give out or give in, I am going to stand. I am going to maintain my self-discipline. And on those points, there will be no compromise. Not now, not ever.